it's definitely time for a break. We're headed out of town today, and uh, we're gonna burn a little bit of gasoline. So this thing is an old circle track dwarf car, which is apparently a class of small vehicles that you can run on, I don't know, tracks or whatever. It's based on a Suzuki GSX-R 1100. And uh, we just finished changing some of the driving controls in this. It used to be a super strange setup where the clutch was done by hand and then you had one brake pedal and one gas pedal. So we've moved the clutch. We've moved the clutch down here where it belongs and then we got the brake and the little gas pedal over there. But that other lever that's on the other side there, that is your gear shifter. It still has the sequential motorcycle gearbox. So that arm connects to that and you push up and down to uh, shift up and down your gears. Built-in fire suppression system, sweet upholstery. It's got a uh, modified Toyota axle in the back. So you can see it's been, uh, well, it's got some very custom drive axles. <laughs> But we're taking it down to a little go-kart race complex uh, south of Portland a little ways. Usually, uh, I think once a month or maybe twice a month during the summer, they open up their track to full-size cars. So it's a drift event, basically. You can get your missile out there and just run around the go-kart track. The track is big enough, though, for full-size cars. The fact that we are bringing a dwarf car, though, um, I don't know. I, I think it's pretty funny. It makes the track a lot more spacious. But we will be out there today with other full-size cars. Definitely interesting. I did a random edit about this place a few years ago, and uh, I'll see if maybe I can get a little bit better footage today. So what would you call that cab over thing? Have over some dodge, dodge, <laughs> dodge <have> something over. <laughs> a little bit chopped. Like, if I were to just pull in, how about like this guy here? Can you just back in right there or something? Or, yeah. or if I just nose right or in, just nose just, in, yeah. If I just nose in right here, oh, yeah, there you go. Or even up next to the blackberries or something, yeah, pretty much anywhere, I think. Yeah, little bonzuko action there. Left on these tires, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like they started. Cool, man. It's like we're not technically supposed to be drifting, but we got lawyers. <laughs> It's got 30 series tires. <laughs> wow. There's surgical clamps uh, blocking off the heater core. So you know it's a daily driver. I wonder where that rates on a scale of zero to diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Cycle. Why did I think it had reverse? <laughs> uh, do you want to tow me off? Sure. Hook up a strap, I'll do it. I think we threw away our bumper, but 
there's probably still a spot to hook it. Be as much length as you can. Yeah. Right here. That'll do. Good. Just for safety. Good. Do you need to be on the steering wheel or anything? I'll be on the car. Okay. Now I can use the brakes, I think. I forgot to put it in the high torque profile. I'll get a run at it. I don't know how you got that in there exactly. Science. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be donating it to the cause. Yes. And that's why you want a 120 amp controller. I love that, Sam. I know. I see a muck stain. Oh hey! I was hoping you'd show up. Oh yeah. Give me copies of that. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. We can get you copies. I'm just getting my second run of stuff. So. Sweet. When you get back, we'll have to hear about the specs of this thing. Okay. Mostly stock. So. Mostly stock. Stock GSXR right here. <laughs> but yeah, we're just down by uh, kind of the turn one where the. Close to the track, the dirt bike track is. So. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm parked right next to the food truck up there, so we'll be over there in a minute. We'll just get a few more things, and I'll be changing tires and getting out of there. Sweet. So I think version two, we got to hook two things to my chair because I think all the uh, forward force was turned into rotation. Yeah. <laughs> um. So what do you want? Uh, I'm fueled up. I check our water and oh, I just gotta go through tech. Uh, but looks like, oh yeah you gotta go through tech still. Looks like we got water in there. You got an overflow valve right? Yeah. Or overflow tank. Our oil is at the low end of some amount. Do we have some? Medium. You need to dump something in there. Wait, oh, what do you need? Oil. I've got oil. Do you? I've got, uh, well, not very much, but I've got a little bit. We'll oil. take it. <laughs> <laughs> Our power steering fluid. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Ooh, Rotella. Yeah, that's that's what we're supposed to be using. <laughs> we have a finnel. And we can always call John if we need him to bring stuff, because he's coming. Okay. Uh, so their main takeaways were, if your exhaust oh. is too loud, we'll kick you out. And... Whatever you do, if you're going to spill fluids, don't do it on yeah, the pavement. They said Only do it in the grass or like in the creek or somewhere else. Yeah, like we planned <laughs> that. Dude, if you get a barrier, you have to buy it. Let me fall over 20 feet. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure this will result in something. filters are the chokes, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. It's got hearts on it. Yes. <laughs> That's a Z car. The thing in the trailer looks very straight pipe. That may be the first contender for noise pollution today. I like three inch straight pipe. <laughs> It's in this white trailer over here. You won't forget it once you see it. You can't unsee that. <laughs> I think that car is low key gonna be pretty hot. He's driving a stock Duramax and just like a plain white trailer. So I think all the work went into the car.
Yeah, better than less than there was or something. I mean, if we find more oil, it wouldn't hurt to get it full. Valvoline.
the pedals seem to be working fairly well. Um, as you can see, it's just kind of a unistrut arrangement there. And uh, the clutch used to be by hand as well over on that, that blue shifting lever. Um, so we added in a, uh, another brake booster and then hooked the clutch back up. Pedals pivot on the floor, made a little grip tape thing, pedal extension. And we still have the weird little gas pedal, but uh, seems to work good enough. Oh, and the best thing, we've got hail on. So if you decide you don't need oxygen anymore, just pull the rip cord and it'll fill this thing with hail on. I'll bet it sealed itself overnight. It has kind of done that before. Yeah. yeah. Well, those gaskets were bad. Well, it's not dripping right now, so that's good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's there's a lot more things out here that smell way more like raw fuel than this does. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely a chain connecting the steering wheel. Sure. Just checking your chain tension on the steering there. What do you think this is? Uh, I'm sure if we got water pet lines or no. oil. I have burnout oil. juice. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like the water pit. It made it less predictable around. The water pit seems very uh, overseas. Yeah. Oh, are they sprinkling water on there? Yeah, they got a water pit so they can drive their car through to like, I don't know if it's to cool down the tires or what, but they got a big water pit over there you can drive through at the end of the track. It starts! Yeah, you've got sort of an outdoor garage-ish type area here. People work on their cars and change tires. There's even a company here that swaps tires and will sell you brand new ones and stuff. They got everything here. Oh yeah, and drifting. <laughs> there can't be much oil left in it at this point. No, you got right there though. So I don't think you got too far. Hopefully at least take the boat. Yeah. <laughs> That's impressive. Might have got pretty lucky and fingers I guess he has an oil cooler line that broke. Someone had to stop him, I guess. He didn't notice he was leaving all of his oil on the ground. You're still in line? I don't think anything screams more America than a 40 series. Uh, Clamp to your passenger door. That's like what, four inch? Can I climb the hill of doom in this chair? As long as I go perfectly straight and really slow, I think we're okay. If I get sideways, we're in trouble. Yay, I did it.
Ah, whoops. <laughs> So apparently the county here, um, well, there's been a lot of neighbors that have um, made complaints about noise. I guess technically they weren't even supposed to have this event today, but they're in the middle of dealing with it with their lawyers. But he said at this point, um, this is the last drift day they're going to be having for a while, and they don't know when they're going to be able to do it again. I guess uh, some houses and stuff were built nearby or something, I'm not sure exactly what, but it is interesting though, there is an airport within like two miles of here that also makes noise, but I don't know, whatever. At least we got to come out today, at least one day this summer, but it's sounding like it's probably gonna be next season before they get their issues ironed out, if even that soon. Kinda sucks, cause um, I mean, someone has to pay for the upkeep on this place to keep it running. But anyways, glad we were able to come out here today, if nothing else. Do. Doesn't seem too soaked with gasoline. I think we're doing good. <laughs> so, like a thing, huh? Yep. Oh yeah, bumper. There's only one nylon. The rest are easy. <laughs> <laughs> they are all different sizes. Yeah, the, the more annoying ones, the uh, <laughs> the drive line. But oh yeah, that too, I guess. And that wasp. Luckily, bees are already moving in. Roof rack. I don't know. I, uh, Cause you, that's well, as chrome as they are, it wouldn't surprise me if you could get them in that custom size. But I don't know. Whatever they are, they look expensive. Well, that's a good sign. At least you know what's wrong. You need to know something. Hold on a second here. Like, you know, you figure, oh, let me call HP and tell them that uh, they've got a known problem. Well, I ran around in the steampunk chair all day today. Uh, this is the one I put the Honda Mini Trail tires on. As you can see there, battery is uh, fairly low-ish. It's low enough that when I'm trying to get over little bumps and thresholds, I can tell the chair is struggling a little bit. I was thinking that putting these bigger tires on this chair would improve the ride quality, which it does, but you end up going places where the ground is a lot more uneven, which negates any of the ride quality improvements. So, running around in the dirt and the gravel and everything all day today, I am beat and just incredibly sore. It is nice that I can go places with this chair, but the places I end up going that I wouldn't be able to before, eh, you know, it's one of those cycles that does something, I don't know, whatever. Um, all right, well, I got to hunt down some Amazon packages. We'll pick this up tomorrow. 